Hi everyone. Sorry I haven't been on much in the last month or so because for a little while I wasn't very well and also the weather here has been, shall we say, not conducive to going out so or doing anything other than hibernating. So I've been inside a lot and also because of... Um, circumstances to do with uh, some falls I had earlier this year I'm in a bit of pain so I haven't really wanted to do much of late anyway aside from that today I want to introduce you to my new power chair Life with Spinocerebella ataxia. I've had my old power chair for about 10 years and it's uh, <laughs> somewhat had it. It uh, wouldn't steer properly. I didn't feel at all safe because it would sometimes go on its own merry way not where I wanted it to go and it was very rough which didn't uh, help with my injuries, my spinal injury. So um, <laughs> I've had to retire Gertie. She's done a great job over the last 10 years but it's time to say au revoir to Gertie. Now in choosing a power chair this time I looked at various kinds and being um, very pro-Australian manufacturing I also looked at Australian manufacturers and I found Magic Mobility. They're located in Noble Park, Victoria, Australia and I went down to see their uh, manufacturing plant and have a look at their various types of wheelchairs and I was just blown away by their chairs and what innovations they have come up with in um, meeting their customers' needs. And so I have now got a Magic Mobility Frontier V6 All-Terrain Power Chair. It comes with all sorts of features that suited me perfectly so i'll i've made a video for you to introduce my new chair its name is albus a l b u s he's named after albus dumbledore the famous wizard in harry, the harry potter series and as albus dumbledore was the greatest wizard of all time i have named my chair after him because my chair was made by Magic, Magic Mobility. And he he's the greatest wheelchair of all time. So uh, I shan't go on any further with my ramblings. I'll show you Albus and the various features that come with him. I'll be going on a short holiday soon just to test out Albus out in the real world rather than just around my local area. Uh, because of the weather, I haven't even had a chance to take him into the city yet, so I haven't had a real play. I will show a short clip of a little bit of um, off-road I did, not very off-roadish, but a little bit. I've now changed the tyres that you'll see um, because I'm going on this holiday where I've got a lot of it is indoors and a lot of very tight places. I've actually changed the tyres from the all-terrain to the regular tyres. This doesn't impede me when I'm going out and about. Uh, in one clip you'll see that I'm going through some very thick wet grass and even with the regular tyres, there's no problem with that. So, um, but I will show you the short clip of when I went 
into an area you can't see very well, but there were a lot of branches and leaves and twigs and sawdust and all sorts of things. But uh, later on, when the weather improves, I'll uh, put the tyres back on and take you out into some of the more um, interesting areas around my district. This was the day that Albus arrived. It was bitterly cold that day. It doesn't look that bad, but trust me, it was freezing. Philip from Magic Mobility is now unloading Albus. It's my first view of him since I had been down to Noble Park where he didn't have his cushions or much of of anything else really he just had his skeleton and um, the base really so here we are all loaded up I have a rojo cushion on Albus uh, I have one already but I decided I needed a new one because my old one had developed a slow leak Now I'm going to show you the various facilities that Albus has. First of all, we'll have a look at what I can actually do as far as tilting, um, height and other uh, ways of manipulating the actual chair itself. This is the tilt forward position that I can put Albus into. When I'm seated and I want to get out of the chair, I can tilt the footrest forward so that it's almost touching the ground and I can actually just stand up and walk off or transfer to another chair or seat or whatever. Um, it's a great facility. It with my previous chair, I basically had to climb in and out of it, which was very difficult. Now I can just stand up and start using crutches or a walker straight from the chair. This is in the elevated position. The chair does go up as high as 300 millimetres, which is the height you're seeing here. It's fantastic for seeing over um, the high serving benches at some shops, you know, like the butchers or the bakery or wherever. Uh, even at the sushi store that I go to has a very high servery and it's nice now I can actually reach over and see the person face to face and pay for my things quite easily. You can actually raise it and lower it as you're going along there is an inhibitor, so you can't go crazy and fast, but it's a great way if you're going to somewhere, say at Flinders Street Station, I want to go to the sushi shop, I am heading towards it, and as I'm going there, I can raise the chair up as I before I get there, and by the time I reach the counter... I'm already at the correct height. It's a great facility. It's making a great deal of difference even within the home because I can reach things. You'll also notice that I've put the footrest out. That can actually go right up until my legs are out straight. This is very good when I'm doing long distance traveling because my feet get very, um, sore and tired and start to my legs will swell up and start to spasm if I can't straighten them out for a while so this is terrific it, uh, sometimes I just have it out a little bit to take the pressure off and it's um, making my life a lot less painful in this shot I'm showing you how far the recline feature can go that is as far back as it goes which is plenty of course and normally you'd have the leg rests up higher so that you can actually lay down this would be again excellent for long distance travel if you're tired you can 
lay down, which is fantastic. It takes all the pressure off the spine and actually lets you feel like you if you're in the chair for a very long time, um, it gives you that chance to stretch out and feel much better. This is the tilt in space feature. Uh, this is at its maximum. Normally I wouldn't myself personally have it this tilted, but when I'm in a taxi or a vehicle going for a long ride, I tend to tilt the chair back somewhat so that it takes the pressure off my neck with all the jerking around that can happen on the road and it makes for a much more comfortable trip. But I'm just show demonstrating to you here the full tilt that it has. This is the rear of the chair. It's got a bar across the, two bars across the back. The top one is where I hang my backpack. The foam that's around the bar there will protect the metal from being scratched. It's all coated, it's a steel frame and it's all coated to help prevent rust. But uh, as you can see, it's a great, got a lot of room there for me to hang things. It's also got some hooks. You can also see the rear lights there. I have a light kit on this chair. It comes with headlights, in turn indicators and hazard lights. Great for coming home in the country at night when there are very few street lights and now I can come home feeling safe that I can be seen on the road when I have to be travelling at night. Much, much safer. This feature is going to be really good um, because when I'm out all day and I'm using my iPad or iPhone, I've often come close to running out of power. I have been carrying around a power bank, but it's inconvenient. On the Frontier V6, they have a double USB port facility so I can plug in my phone and it will charge from the battery. There's also a 12 volt uh, plug there you can see so if you have something that you need to run with a 12 volt connector you're all set. Also you can see my front headlight there. It's a, a fair size so you get a good lot of light from it. Also, you can see my seat belt. I'll show you that in another shot later. This is the one-click activator. It sits at the end of my left hand armrest. It makes choosing the different features on the chair much quicker. I can tilt, I can raise the chair up, recline and raise the foot plate up. Very handy because it means I don't have to try and see the screen. I can just do what I want to do just by using those up and down buttons. Now this is the controller from which I operate the chair. It comes with a 3.5 inch VGA colour display it's got a built-in sensor so that it can automatically adjust the screen brightness for wherever I am. All the programming and everything is done from this. As you can see, I can see my battery um, level there. It's actually down in the yellow now. I've been using the chair for a bit, so it's halfway. It's got my speed, controls, the horn on and off and the distance. It I've got a trip meter on it, so at the moment I'm using the trip meter to monitor the batteries because I have been still conditioning, conditioning them because I haven't been able to get out as much as I would like. And 
Oh, I just dropped something. Anyway, um, <laughs> it's um, the brains of the thing. And I have a ball on my controller because I find it easier to hold and less tiring on my hand. Oh, and that red, white and black sticker isn't anything to do with magic. That's my football team, St Kilda. These are the all-terrain tyres. They're 14 inches, but they're also very wide. They have a very low PSI so that they give an extraordinarily comfortable ride. That's another reason I particularly like having them on, not just because they're great on sand or rough areas, rocky areas or whatever. It's that um, they're also extremely comfortable. They have a anti-puncture liner in them so that you could ride over bits of glass and or nails or something and hopefully you wouldn't get a puncture. I've been riding around for weeks now with it and I've had no trouble at all. This is the standard seat belt that comes with the V6. It's a crash tested seat belt. It's much, much better than my previous one, which I struggled to keep tight. This one, once you've got it on, it stays tight and I feel very safe and secure with it on. This day I had the all-terrain tyres on and I decided to go somewhere I'd never been able to go before. I found some solar panels to start off. They're at the um, Gippsland Water facility that's next door to where I live. And uh, I'll just show you what it was like. It was very windy that day, so you'll have to pardon the noise that comes with it blowing in the microphone. As you can see, I live at the end of town, which is really good, I like that. Uh, but I'd never been able to come out here before, so it's fantastic. I didn't exactly know where I was going while I was doing this, so that made it even nicer because I had no idea where I would end up. <laughs> See that paddock over there? Later on I actually went for a ride around the paddock, but I didn't get to film it because it was pretty rough and the camera would have been jumping up and down like crazy so I tried but it just didn't work out. Now I've got a different um, stabiliser on my camera I'll be able to take you into rougher places without it looking like just a jungle of pictures. You can see here I'm just about to go up a small hill. There is no way on earth that Gertie could have ever made that hill. It was terrific to be able to drive up a steep hill without having to worry whether the chair was going to veer off and go into the gully or just slide backwards. But this chair had no trouble with it whatsoever.
My old chair would have suffered badly trying to go up this incline. Uh, she would have probably have just stopped and slid backwards. <laughs> there was, she didn't like uh, that gravelly kind of stuff and she used to just slide on it. But this chair with its strong motors and those wonderful all-terrain tyres had no Loving this outdoors and the peace and quiet, it's fantastic. I've never been out here before and thanks to my wonderful new chair, I can do it. I just love it, it's fantastic. Unfortunately, I didn't have the camera up high enough so that you could see me playing amongst the gum trees here uh, and get any idea of all the twigs and leaves and stones and stuff and hear the sawdust where I was going over. But next time, hopefully, I'll do a better job of photography. I didn't really have anything, a tall tripod or anything to use there, so next time, hopefully. Well, that's the introduction to my new power chair, my Magic Frontier V6 All-Terrain Power Chair. I am just beyond words with how happy I am with it. I'd like to thank Ashley Daff and his team at Magic for just producing the best thing for me. It's... I. It, words just can't describe how happy I am with this power chair. Um, I hope you'll all come around and see our adventures in the future. As, you'll, as you would have seen, my cane is actually sitting on the back of the chair. At the moment, that's the only place I can put it, which isn't the best. Um, I'll be going to Magic sometime, hopefully before Christmas, and asking them to see if they can find some way of putting my cane under the front left armrest. They're terrific that way. They will look at things that suit the individual. And because I'm one of the rare legally blind power chair users, <laughs> I have to have my cane handy. And right now it's not very handy but it's the only place I can carry it. So that's uh, on my wish list for 
the new year is to have somewhere I can put my cane safely where I can get at it quickly. And <laughs> I, I do use it, trust me, I do use it, but it's not as easy to use as it was before. Anyway, that's another story. We'll, we'll deal, deal with that later. I hope you enjoyed my video and it gives you an idea of what these chairs can do for people. And uh, I'll hopefully see you soon. You will be coming on my short holiday with Albus and show you how he can easily manage what we're going to do. I won't say anything yet. It's going to be a surprise. I'll see you all soon.